Hello everybody, it's Lucas here from Smuggle Bond and I'm back with some more Grand Theft Auto Vice City stories for the PlayStation 2. Hope you're all doing absolutely fan Debbie dosy Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos. I really, really appreciate it. If you're new to Smuggle Bond and like what you see, hey, what on earth are you waiting for? Hit that red subscribe button now. Hit that bell notification icon also because that way you'll be instantly subscribed to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified every time I upload uh, new content, meaning you won't miss a thing. So this is another two-parter um, we're going to be doing five missions in this two parts and we're going to be finishing the game as well in the second part so huzzah finally I complete Grand Theft Auto Vice City stories uh, it's been a, quite a journey and these last few missions have really tested me to the point of exhaustion so I will say that in the final mission um, Oh god, it's called Last Stand and you've got a helicopter and that is just so awkward. You have to position this helicopter, you have to shoot all of Mendez's thugs uh, through like four windows. I've no idea how I do it, but I managed to cheese that a little bit. Um, so it was. It took me several attempts because I'm crap with the helicopter. Um, so when I get into the building and I destroy a few guys, I did use the health cheat and armor cheat, but purely because... I don't want to friggin have to do the helicopter bit again but that was the only reason really so I just just to let you guys know I didn't really intentionally you know oh I'll just put cheating and cheese it because to be honest you can't really lose that section because they throw a load of body armors there anyway but it was purely because I just hate the helicopter it took me several hours as I said of failed attempts uh, to use the chopper and then eventually when I I somehow did it I thought I'm not gonna put myself through all that again so you know but it's not too bad I I've got through the majority of this game and as I said I've been well challenged we're gonna do the first mission anyway called lost and found here with Lance uh, we have to go pick up Louise from the hospital then we've got to take a chopper to rescue Lance and then shoot some boats so here we go lost and found Hey, Vic. Is Louise still in the hospital? Yeah, but she'll be getting out soon. That's good. Look, we got a big deal coming down today. I'm gonna need you there. Wait a minute. Why are you asking about Louise? Take it easy. It's just that, uh, you know, Martinez called and he said that he's gonna pay her a visit. And I don't think he means to take some fruit. What? Look, the hospital's got security. She'll be fine. Let's you and me just go make some money. You're kidding, right? Oh, man. Get your priorities in order. All right. Fantastic. Let's go down to the downtown hospital. We'll pick up Lou, get the helicopter, and uh, rescue Lance. So, yeah, this game's obsessed with friggin' helicopters, choppers. And some of those just drove me absolutely insane. Um, I will say that although some of them did give me problems they weren't as difficult as I thought they were going to be particularly high wire that one took me about three hours to do and whilst not impossible I can see why people struggle um, I was reading the forum and people were like I don't like this mission I'm gonna take the game back to the shop <laughs> or something I'm just they're like I don't want to do it and I can understand that it's just not good I managed to do it just about as I said the last one with the chopper forget about it like having to control the thing and then try and shoot a building blokes and, and shoot really precisely was difficult so I kind of cheese that I don't know how I do it somehow I manage it but yeah it just feels almost impossible but anyway let's go down to the hospital let's pick up Louise and let's go get Lance and stuff um, as I said this copy is glitched or it's so old you may have noticed in the last video Lance was really glitching out quite a lot and it glitches out almost to the point that when I get the ending, I'm pretty sure there should be music at the end. I don't know. I'm going to have to check on YouTube. But my ending is completely silent. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'll take it. You know what I mean? I don't can't risk this bloody crashing. I have a few like near misses where I'm in the middle of a mission and the game just freezes. And I was like, oh my god, it's crashed. But no. Uh, luckily, um, it's kind of like the little engine that could. It kind of keeps going. So then I uh, just pops into the old pain spray there. Get the old car up and running and uh, head off to the hospital. Yeah, there's like there's even a mission which is actually pretty cool. We get to go back into Fort Baxter, right where we started to steal a helicopter, and it's really really fun. I really enjoyed it because it's like it's not really that difficult at all. 
it's kind of like I don't know like it's hard to describe because I just feel like these missions not that they're not hard but I, I feel like some of them should be harder than they they are and some of the really difficult ones could be toned down a little bit particularly the one with Lance like my pirate I hate that one that took me hours to do like oh you'll see what I mean when we get to it but yeah I finally finished this yesterday Monday Monday afternoon stroke Monday evening and I didn't know where I was. So here we go guys, let's pick up Louise. Louise? <laughs> you look good. Thanks. I feel good. You know, for a while I thought I'd lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Look, I was angry. I shouldn't have said what I did. Me neither. You want to do something fun? No business, just me and you. Oh, nuts. It's Lance. What the hell? Trapped in a burning building? Bring a helicopter? What can I do? Business can be fun. There's a helicopter on the roof of the hospital. We could take that. I love it. <laughs> the old air ambulance is pretty cool. Right, so yeah, we've got to go get Lance. Um, you can also see there's a damage meter that's appeared on the right hand side. Um, I, I'm so used to these now. Like a lot of missions, they'll like they'll either, you've either got to fill them up or you've got to kind of keep them empty. In this case, we have to keep it empty. So yeah, we have to go. I think pick up Lance and then we have to attack some boats and then get some stuff. Um, but look at the graphics, look absolutely incredible. And what I was trying to say earlier was that, like, had the missions should be harder. I think because this was a PSP game, I don't know whether it's a technological issue or what. But, for example, there's a mission where, oh, I did with a chopper where I had to accompany, like, protect some boats uh, with the chopper. And all I did, did was follow the boats, and the boats just kind of, you know did their thing did their own thing anyway I didn't fail the mission I feel like like the intents there like for example we go to Fort Baxter steal a helicopter there's hardly any resistance so I don't know whether it is because this was originally a PSP game and uh, I don't know whether it was a power issue or memory issue or what but they just ported it straight to PS2 not that these missions are bad by any means you know um, it just seemed a bit strange that some missions are harder than others, I guess. And um, when you've got a load of police chasing after you, like there's hardly any other cars on the road, so I think it's possibly a memory issue, things like that, you know. But it's still a cool game, I have to say. Look at this, I have to get there now before time runs out. And uh, yeah, there's a freaking time limit. Why is there a time limit? I mean, there's really no need because, like, I, I got, I could get a pretty. Sure. Look at this, my my chopper's almost damaged here. Four, three, two, one. Oh, come on. Come on. No way. <laughs> Failed the mission. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to do it. But no, I've got to friggin' redo this mission now. It's craziness. I just wasn't fast enough. So, yeah. I thought I'd cut out all my bloopers, but I guess not. That's all right. Never mind, we just gotta fly back and do it again. I apologise. I was just really slow off the mark there. But that's what happens, you know. I think what it was was like I'd just come off doing like the five missions and I I guess I was just sleep working, as I call it. So it's like oh, just like so tired the missions had really done me and I thought, you know what? I'll get all the missions, I'll just edit it down, put it all together and yeah. So, <laughs> didn't go quite quite to plan, but that's all right. A few bloopers here and there, I don't really mind. But yeah, it's like, oh, I'll be glad, to be honest. I'm glad now it's pretty much all over, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So, I'm going to retire from the uh, Grand Theft Auto community for a while, I think, because this game is like, as I said, it, some missions are painfully more difficult than others and it just takes a lot out of you and it's a massive investment of time which I don't mind doing honestly I think it's fine but it's like 
Um, I will say one thing, even though it's been tough, it's given me the discipline. I've actually managed to get Vice City Stories videos done every week, which I didn't think I'd do because we come up to like high wire. And I thought, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to get a video done. But somehow I just managed to pull it off. So it's almost like I just managed to kind of get good at the game and just cheese it a little bit as well. Because I think most of this game you can kind of... Ex there's little exploits you can do. For example, with the final mission on here, Last Stand, you can kind of cheese it without even knowing what you're doing um, with the chopper to trigger the cutscene. Um, and that's not always easy, so I'm going to land at Lance's and we're going to try, try again. Oh my god, I have a nice sip of my tea, yeah? It's absolutely crazy. So we've landed right there, we're like right at the marker now. So let's try this again for the millionth time. I don't know if I can trip skip on this one, I hope I can. Um, oh my god, this is awful. Oh, look at that. It blew up. It blew up in my face. It was really... Oh, blew up again. Twice for effect. Right, can I trip skip? I think I can. I think I did. Right, is it loading? Yeah, we've seen all this. Right, let's try this again. Should be able to do it this time, guys, all being well. Apologies. I thought I'd like, edited it out, but obviously I didn't. Again, I must have been half asleep when I put this together. So here we go. Right, let's do it. And I've got to get going now. The problem is, as well, I will say is... It's a bit unfair because the time is invisible until you've got like 30 seconds or something. It's ridiculous. Like, why not just have the timer on screen? Then I'll know, you know, to get their sharpish. It's a bit annoying, to be honest, to expect the player to kind of, you know, anticipate a time limit when you don't know there's one there. I have to say, the city looks absolutely beautiful, though. This is one gorgeous looking game. And don't think that I don't love this you know as much as Vice City I do I think it's right up there I think it's just as good in my opinion yeah well, all right some people might argue Ray Liotta's um, Tommy Vercetti is probably a better character I don't know but I really got into you know Vic Vance you know his struggles and stuff and it was a great arc you know and it gives you more um, insight into Lance Vance you know his motivations and why he tries to betray Tommy in uh, Vice City so that was all pretty good. But yeah, I think the hardest one out of this, I have to say, I, I will still go on record and say Grand Theft Auto 3 is probably hardest for me. Like, Expresso to go is probably the hardest mission level. You see, look at this, like, as soon as we approach it, we've got a time limit. But then again, I think the time limit only comes on when we get near it anyway, so maybe that's it. Get in, you idiot! What happened? Did you run into any... Right, it just seems a bit pointless really, I mean, why have a time limit at all? So now we have to just circle the uh, chopper around, and so Lance can shoot the boats, and then we've got to take everybody home, I guess. Or take Lance home. Lance will stop firing if he loses his balance. So yeah, you've got to keep the thing steady. So, yeah, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I still, to this day, have not got used to the chopper, even though I've done... The missions really successfully I just don't like flying it it's it's really hard to describe it's almost like I'll understand it for a bit like I'll have it in my head I'll be like yes and I'm driving with it and it's fine but then other times it becomes a lot more difficult and I'll forget the controls and I'll just be like what am I doing and I can't seem to shift it very well so yeah I'm absolutely crap with the helicopter if I'm honest, I really wish like there wasn't so many chopper missions, but as I said, it's either that or not do the game. I didn't want to kind of not do it, you know. I kind of wanted to succeed. So yeah, I've got to keep this thing steady. Is that the boat? Oh yeah, that's it. Lance has got to shoot down there. So, oh, just I 
I really hate it. I, I don't like the law. There we are. So Lance is starting to shoot now. It sucks because it seems to take a lot of time to freaking shoot. You've got to keep the thing like straight, and it's like I'm always out of position, or I'm just like not in the right place. So keep it straight. Keep the chopper going. We might just better take it out. There they are. I think I don't think there's a time limit on the boats. I think we can just take our time to kind of shoot them. I hope that's the case anyway. But it's just like, oh, miserable, absolutely miserable. Come on, just let me shoot the bloody thing. There, are. Lance will take care of it anyway. It's all kind of automatic. I'm just trying to, uh, yeah. But this is just, as I said, a seasoned Grand Theft Auto veteran would have no problem doing this. But me, I'm just like no. I'm just tilting all over the place, my positioning's always off, I'm kind of getting there now, but it's just, it's painful, it's painful to do, and it's like, the boats don't have an energy meter, so I don't know if I'm doing damage to them or not, you know, that's the only thing. Right, there we go. As I said, this has got plenty of replayability as well, lots of side missions to do. Um, all kinds of rewards to get as well. I love the winner's outfit on here, which I'm going to be showing off in part two. You guys are going to love it. It's just absolutely encapsulates the 80s and really well. There we are. So is something happening? No, it's just glowing. I'm trying to I'm trying to shoot it. Come on, just I, I'm so fed up here. Is that my damage or is that their damage? I don't know. That's the thing. I presume it's mine, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right, because they're shooting me, it's alright. See, when I was playing this, I couldn't even see that they were shooting me. I was too busy concentrating on the chopper here. There we go. So we got rid of one. So, luckily, as you can see on the map, the little red icons are there. It tells you, like, how many left. So we've got two left, so we have to get rid of the two. Come on, Lance. Just shoot him. Just do it. Play jazz. I think he's starting to shoot it now. I don't know. Come on. There we are. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, man. Shower rain of bullets, or rain a shower of bullets on him, I should say. Just again, I'm out of position. I'm slightly ahead of the boats. So I'm just. There we are. See how I'm keeping it steady there? That doesn't always last. <laughs> I'm always like, what are the controls again? And now the boats are kind of going in the other direction now, so I need to slowly circle this thing around. I find that by tapping square, that helps. It slows things down an awful lot. Um, if you go too fast and you're near buildings, you're going to end up smacking into the buildings and do some damage. Look at this, we can get some uh, cheap shots on the boat there, on the big one, and on the other one there, like that. So I think there's only one left now, by the looks of it. So once we get rid of that, we can go home. Take Lance and take Louise home, I think. I'm circling around, I'm just, yeah we go, that's perfect, look at that. Nice big circle, uh, nice big circle. Come on, you can do it. Yes, that was my phone in the background. Really annoying. In fact, I'm just going to go and grab it guys, apologies, I'm just turn it off. There we go, sorted. Always something. So I've got my cup of tea. Oh, I've got the footage, everything's good. So I thought I've got a few hours this afternoon, get this commentary done, I'll get it uploaded ASAP, I think, because like, yeah, I just want to finish this game. And I'm just, I loved it, don't get me wrong, I love GTA, but I'm just, I'm exhausted. I don't think, I think it'll be a while before I do any more, actually because it's just it's a lot like I didn't realize how much time you know it was going to take me I was like okay and it was a request as well and I thought well you know I thought I might as well you know someone asked will you do some GTA I was like yeah why not and so I've I've, up, I've upheld my part of the bargain anyway so it's done now but I will say Liberty City Stories is way easier than this. 
In fact, I flew through that one, I remember, I recall. And I played that casually, I had no problems with it whatsoever. Oh my god, just shoot the damn thing. So things like this just take takes way more time than it should. It's just like, come on, just circle around. So I'm trying to get around, but it's just like, come on. And this is why I just hate the chopper. I cannot use it to save my life. It's one of the worst, worst things ever. I can land it, but I just can't, like, position it and stuff. Ah, here we are. Going in for the kill now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You'd think it'd be blown up by now, but it's just not. It just never stops, though. This is, like, 20 minutes in, and I haven't even freaking shot this thing yet. Come on. You just gotta keep going with it, that's the thing as well. You've gotta just keep persevering. And I will say the game is very good at making you get good at it. So, you know, you kind of just. I had a moment yesterday with, um, as I said, Light My Pyre, one of the worst missions on the whole game. It took me ages to do, I just could not do it. And it's like. I had this moment where I was like, well, look, come on, you've got to do it. You've gotta push through. And somehow I, I just did it. You know, same as like when I got to the very last mission, I couldn't do it. And I was like, what do I do? I thought I've done four missions, there's no way I can do the last one. But I took a break, I had a tuna sandwich and a cup of tea, and I thought, you know what? Let's do this. And somehow it just all come together. I'm very good as well at like watching, um, you know, because I think I'm a visual learner, so I went on YouTube and I kind of watched a video of how to do it. And I saw this guy expertly pilot the chopper round. And he took care of uh, Mendez's thugs in like, what, five seconds flat and there's me flying around for 20 minutes like an idiot, just <laughs> not being able to do it. But that gave me inspiration. I thought if he can do it, then I can do it. And then in my own little way, I managed to do it. So I'm happy about that. You know, even if I said I had to put the health cheat in, like when we got to the uh, into the building, because as I said, I'm... It's not to cheat, it was just because I don't want to have to do that annoying chop a bit again. That's purely it. And then it turns out I didn't even need to put the cheat in anyway because there's armour. You get like more armour than you know what to do with. So the game actually wants you to succeed at that point. Which is quite good because my adrenaline was like going for the roof. I tell you what guys, this, there we are. <laughs> I was going to say, it's taking too long but I think we've done it so... I have to position the helicopter just above the traffic boat because we need to pick something up, so yeah. Never mind taking out the boats. I now have to pick up something for Lance. And then we'll take Lance home and then Lou home and then that's it. Oh, so much happening. Yeah, what a great game. Absolutely one of the best experiences. And yeah, what I love is like... I'm just looking at my collection now, I've got a massive PS2 collection and Liberty City Stories only cost me two quid like Vice City Stories I think cost me the same, I've got like two or three versions of it, it's great I'll see you cats later, keep popping Alright, so we drop Lance off of the boat so we'll take Louise home to I'm Mary sorry. Beth and then uh, that should, should do it up. we've got Maybe another we mission to do support. I say that should do it, we've got four more missions to go yet, so yeah, another one with, as I said, Phil Collins. Uh, gutted that I can't play in the air tonight, as I said, it's just just the way it is. It's like when I first started up the game and there was just a little bit of um, I Want to Know What Love Is by Foreigner, and you're like, it's only like a little snippet, but YouTube's like, you can't have that, it's copyrighted, I'm sorry, we're going to mute your video, I'm like, oh my god. I, I get it, you know what I mean, but... It, there's nothing. But I guess they're just clamping down, I suppose. So Maybe one day, if, if I ever become big enough, <laughs> if I ever become a massive YouTuber, maybe they'll let me. Who knows? But where? Well, it's one of those things. So I put I put some like chilled ambient music in, and it's just not the same thing. It sort of sounds like in the air tonight, but not really. The mission's over anyway before you know it, so it's more like a novelty, I think. Uh, you know, type thing, uh, not to be taken too seriously. Phil's at the concert and um, the lighting rig up above, um, you've got some blokes trying to like destroy it so it'll fall on Phil, hence the name Kill Phil. So you have to like get up and the mission's called In the Air Tonight 
because you're literally there while Phil plays his concerts. And after doing the mission, for six grand, you can go and see him. You can go to a Phil Collins concert, so I might experience that. I might see, like, if they put other songs in there and see what else they've done. So, yeah, we're just... I'm taking it very slow here. Obviously, I've got a lady on board, so... Um, I need to be careful here because I've just got a habit of banging into buildings and stuff, you know. And I, I don't know why I said I'm just rubbish with this friggin' helicopter, so... Oh, am I going to land here. on the roof? Or do we land there below? This looks there. absolutely amazing. Oh, but yeah, as you can there. see, so um, cool, there's a few cars down there. There's like one or two. But I think like the engine struggles, as I says, when when there's loads of police on, when you've like your wanted levels really high, there's that many police, there's hardly any other cars on the road. So the engine kind of changes there. So it does its job and I'm certainly not complaining. There's absolutely no way I could have made a game of this caliber. Right, so we have to land here. I need to go back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda of just go a little bit further and I'm just gonna turn it around and try and land. So yeah. I've got to turn around. Sounds like a nineties song. <laughs> hate it oh my god oh no you don't no you don't no you don't there we are so I should be able to just position the damn thing get it down I'm trying to land it should just land it oh come on come on come on come on come on there we Louise I'll call you real soon oh okay I'm kind of in the middle of a war right now it's okay Oh, fantastic. There we go. So, we're just, uh, sorry, Louise, we're going to just take him out of here and we're just going to drive off. So, yeah, still in third person view. Um, it works fine for the helicopter. It's the only way I can kind of drive the thing. So, um, yeah, we're going to go and save the game and then we're going to head. I think it's the Phil Collins one next, possibly. I can't remember. I'm sure it is, but that's it. Yeah, oh Phil, thanks for looking after Louise, man, I appreciate it, anytime I can help, just call, so there we go, and oh, they're all coming in now, payday, alright, more cash, yeah, I see how Renee's on the map now, so we'll have to go and see her, um, in order to progress the story, so yeah, the Phil Collins ones are, I think, mandatory. So, and I don't mind that at all, they're very well done and they're not too difficult. You know, they're just done for laughs and, as I said, any any chance you've got to you know, rub shoulders with a mighty Phil Collins is a good one, in my opinion. Yeah, a shame I've never saw, seen him in concert and that I never got the chance, but, well, yeah, what a great performer. Such a shame. I saw like on YouTube was it oh yeah a couple of years ago now the Genesis uh, retirement tour and he looked so frail, you know. And you're thinking everything for everything this man gave to music, you know. And he's literally you know he's on sticks and struggling, but he's still still got the voice. I think it's just about so. God bless you, Phil. There we go. So, I saved. Let's go head on over to Rennie now. So, we have to take Rene to the airport first, and then we go to the stadium where our weapons are confiscated because it's a Phil Collins concert, and then we have to take care of the saboteurs. There we go. So, let's turn that around. Let's run over here. Let's see what we can do. Give me something. Give me anything. Oh god. See it seems to be all vans spawning, that's the problem. You know, it's really annoying. I need a car. I do have some problems as well with the controls. Sometimes the controls just spaz out. Um again I think it's my copy of Voice City Stories like sometimes like Vic will just start walking on his own or I'll go to rob a car and it won't do it. 
it's really strange so I've had to kind of struggle through some very difficult to moments here so with that being said let's go and see Rene let's do this next uh, do this next mission and it's uh, three more to go and then that's it goodbye Vice City oh it's gonna be a shame because you know but I've enjoyed it it's been it's been all right it's been nice to kind of uh, explore the city and yeah you know, at least do a Vice City game so I guess now I've done GTA 3, I've done Liberty City Stories, I've done Vice City Stories. So yeah, I guess maybe Vice City, maybe I'll get to that at some point. But there we go, I need to get up here now. So Rene is like over this bridge, I always remember that. So we'll just drive up some stairs, very unconventional, but <laughs> you can do that in uh, Vice City. Uh, and we'll just pop over here. And she's on... I, want, I don't know if she's on Prawn Iron Law. I think she's at the stadium this time round. I can't remember. Yeah, she's at the stadium, so we go to the stadium. Just to go to the airport. But I think after you've taken her to the airport, I think you can kind of skip it. So I'm pretty sure you can trip skip once you've done that. So she's not in there. So she's, yeah, she's on the other side. Just like, oh, Brenny. So, oh my god. So I guess maybe we've got to go this way. Over this bridge. Bridge over troubled water. Head on over there. There we go, the old loading screen. Excellent voice cast there. Like, I was quite surprised. I was like... The Brummy guy, I thought it sounded like Timothy Spall, that does, and it actually is. <laughs> that surprised me, right? So, I don't know if I should be doing this actually. This looks a bit dangerous. No, definitely not. I need to get out of this vehicle before it blows up. So, we'll just go over here, and Rene is straight ahead, I think. So, I, I just need another vehicle. Oh, bloody hell. See how they just blow right through me? Like, they just don't care. We'll just pop in there and we'll just uh, keep going forward. Yeah, and there's all these. Luckily, that's one thing I won't miss about this taking over businesses. You know, such such an investment. It is worth it though for money and stuff. I'm not saying it's not, but like, as I said, when you've got like seven businesses, all of a sudden one business is like under attack on like the other side of the map, you're just like, Jesus, I just want to do the mission. So yeah, I'm trying to get to Rene here, and as you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble. She just seems to be miles away. I'm sure she's at the stadium. It just takes ages to get there. It's like... Ugh. But it shows you how good this game is, how massive the map is. Um, I just find myself getting completely lost here, when all I want to do is just get on with it. See, look, this is what really sucks, because, like, didn't we do this, like... We, we, we already established she was over water, now I've got to get over more friggin' water. So I have to do this bridge here, like, surely this should be it. Oh my god, seems like miles away, so... This has got to be it. It has to be. I might, I've probably taken the wrong turn, if I'm honest, because that sometimes happens. I know that when I go to the airport, I get a little bit friggin'... I don't know what it is, I, I always seem to be going around in circles, I can't seem to get off, um... The main the main road and get back to where I was so yeah what can I say I have ridiculous short-term memory so let's keep moving forward she's got to be here now we're definitely in the right ballpark oh, come on come on come on come on oh bloody hell what's wrong with this friggin thing I'm just gonna get something else See, sometimes I swear the tyres get knocked out or something happens or you get shot at and your vehicle just, you know, struggles to kind of uh, respond, so... I'm getting so tired of this. She's, she's here. There we are. She's here. This is it. Oh, this, she's at the hospital. Right, I got it. And here we go. In the air tonight. Oh, I know I use wonderful creams. Vic! 
darling. How do I look? Uh, different. Fantastic. I was just telling Barry he should get some implants. Ho, ho, flipping ho. <laughs> Great. Hey, Phil, you ready for the concert? How's everything looking? Good. I think, unless Barry's got some more surprises in store. <laughs> Hold on, Mucker. You are going to have to stop giving me an hard time. Well, no worries. You stop having me killed, and I'll stop complaining about it. Vic dealt with that, that teething trouble. This is rock and roll, so not flipping flower arranging. Oh, do shut up. Listen, we've got work to do, Vic. We'll see you at the gig. Renee, it's uh, been an experience. <laughs> I'll make sure Barry calls you. Darling. Phil. Phil. I love you, boss. Vic, can you drive me to the airport on your way to the gig? <laughs> sure, sure. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so all we gotta do is take Renee to the airport. Sounds simple. <laughs> it kind of depends, really, because uh, she's been chased by a hitman. So um, sometimes you'd be okay, sometimes you won't. I think it depends on which route you take. Um, have you have to get to the airport, so make sure darling. nothing happens to her. So what I tend to do is um, I went the other way. I, I think rather than. Um, I think I went left instead of right, possibly, when I sort of got near the airport, but still a bugger to kind of get out. I didn't encounter anybody, any hostilities. She's supposed to be attacked. I think the first time I did, I edited it out, but I went right instead of left, and that triggered a hitman. But I just went the other way, and I wasn't, wasn't even accosted at all. It wasn't even a problem. So, let's, uh, let's go. Let's see if we can sort this out. Let's make this happen. Right, so. Lovely pink neon. So do I go this way or do I go that way? So I went this way. So that that red square thing you can see, that's like a marker. Um, it's supposed to help, you know, get your bearings and stuff. I don't really know what it's supposed to do. See how I've got here and there's been no problems. I've had no one bothering, no hitmen, so it's very weird that they didn't spawn. So you're really leaving? I have no choice, darling. Diego will never stop looking for me. Once you've been with Reni, nothing compares. <laughs> Besides, I'm through with advertising. It's so morally bankrupt. I'm going to Europe to conquer the exotic adult movie business. <laughs> Europeans like women with big hands and stubble? Of course. We are more sophisticated than you Americans, darling. I know you want me, but... Renny, she must go. Goodbye, darling. I'll send you my tapes. Think of me often. Right, so now we've got to get to the uh, concert. Yeah, Phil Collins is playing Voice City, so we need to get there and uh, do that. So... What am I doing? Yeah, we need a vehicle. We'll take this one. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to get insanely lost now because I always have problems coming out of the airport and I don't even know why. There's really no need for me to get lost, actually. It's not that hard. But me being me, you know, I always end up taking a wrong friggin' turn. So, apologies if I go around the airport a few times. But, well, showing off this game as well a little more is never a bad thing. And I just remember when I first started this as well, oh god, many weeks ago, um, it felt so new and it felt so unfamiliar, um, but you know, you find yourself just kind of getting into it and just, I have to say like, I'm a, I'm a GTA fan, but the more I play this, the more of a fan I've become, you know, I can understand like, why these games are so revered and why they're so brilliant. Because, like, they're just so damned addictive. I mean, like, yesterday, after three hours of failing the last mission, I was like, my head was like, I've got to do the mission. All I could think about was the mission. I was going to go out for a walk, and I was like, man, I need to go have a walk. But then I thought, well, no, I want to do 
Grand Theft Auto. I, I never thought I'd be one of those people who, um, you know, would rather sacrifice exercise than playing Grand Theft Auto. But I kind of get it now. <laughs> it's like the addictive quality of the game is just uh, too much to bear. But luckily, I've had a gym session today with my with my trainer, so that's not too bad. It keeps everything ticking over. Always good. Oh my god. Tell you what, personal training is hard though, man. Really puts me through my paces. Oh dear, I'll have arms bigger than legs soon. I'll be taken off without me. Where am I going? Oh, I need to get back, don't I? So this is my problem. My whole problem is like I can't always find my way around, and it's like I always end up like going round in circles or going the wrong way. And it's like, ugh, I just hate it. But yeah, I don't know why I do this. I just see that I'm just heading back to the airport. I'm like, I need to get off the road. Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to do that. Right, let's uh, try and get off. We need to get back to the stadium now. My God. This is stressful for all the wrong reasons. But luckily, there's no time limit anyway, which is good. So at least we can kind of just get our bearings here. I'd mind you, I don't think I've ever really got my... Ah! This is where I'm going wrong. But I think I need to go this way, maybe. Will this take me back? It's possible. Can we go this way? See, I don't know if I'm going around in circles now or what. It just looks the same. See, there's... A... Ah! There's another road here, so basically... I can get to that other road. And at first I thought, is it a runway? But no, it is in fact a road and this takes me all the way. Yeah, this is it. So there we go, guys. We got there in the end. But my God. Oh, going round in circles. So I've got to just go all the way back. So this is Fort Baxter. Lovely, lovely stuff. And we're back. We're back into the city now. But yeah, anything like that just drives me mad. Look at these palm trees though. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I was really surprised like how many people worked on this game. Like the credits like wow, 10, 15 minutes long? Quite a lot. But look at this, there's this cheeky little bridge here which I didn't even see, so that's gonna make things ten times more easier. Yeah, we've got to get to the old stadium now. Um now for some reason. I think I've got to visit a, uh, God, I can't even get the words out, an ammunition, so I'm looking for an ammunition first. Um, purely because I can stock up. I, this mission with Phil doesn't require any weapons. You have to use your fists. Obviously, because it's a concert, you're not allowed any weapons. So um, it doesn't matter because you can buy weapons here. They'll confiscate them, but you'll get them back after you do the mission. So you're not really losing out on anything. So I thought I'd take this opportunity here so just in case there's like any more gangland missions and uh, obviously the Lance Vance mission is coming up after this and it's a uh, it's a definite pain in the backside you will see why I mean I've the attempt that I've done um, took me hours to do it took me hours to perfect I found a little cheat as well or a little exploit or I thought it was an exploit because basically after you like protect Lance from the cars um, Lance goes into the Mendez mansion and if you go up to the mansion apparently where all the gang members are and you go to the mall apparently some of them will try and follow you to the mall so there'll be less to take care of when you get to the mansion then you can just get into the mansion um, and then kill I think it's Armando possibly one of the Mendez boys see so yeah, there's lots going on here Right, to the stadium, we should be on the right way now. Well, actually, ammunition first. That's where we're going. Oh, my God. I tell you what, that Twilight Knife sign is uh, permanently uh, recorded in my retina now. <laughs> Whenever I go this way, I'm like, oh, that's the way to the ammunition. So it always helps. So that's my one top tip is use a lot of landmarks here to kind of help you if you're getting a little bit lost in the city. There it is, ammunition is right on the way to the stadium anyway, so I thought we might as well um, might as well pop in and get some stuff. Found Abby Dozy, come on, in we go. Right, 
right, let's get some stuff. Body armor, of course. Right, and just in case, we'll just stock up. Grenades, yeah, get the old shotty. Loads of shotty shells, there we are. Brilliant. Alright, let's get to that stadium. Right. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. I do love the old Mickey takes as well. Like, there's a sign. Is it in the Mendes's house or one of the houses? The Secret of My Shortness, which is like a parody of Michael J. Fox's film, The Secret of My Success, which I uh, found quite amusing. So, yeah, it's like bad fellas, you know what I mean? Instead of good fellas. Here we go. So, we have to leave all weapons at the door, but we will get them back after, I promise you. Where have you been? Phil's already on. I'm shitting bricks here, mate. Georgios definitely gonna try something. Keep your pants on. I'll make my way down front and keep an eye on things. Right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy ambient music, I know, but I had no choice. It's either that or, you know, YouTube will be like, you can't use this music. I had the same problem when I did, um, oh god, Liberty City Stories on my other channel. But, you know, thinking about it now, I think I got away with quite a bit on that, like music wise. I know I had Blondie on or something, I think it was Blondie. Or Maloko or something, and they were like, "Oh, you know, they muted my, my like my whole video because I played music." Fair enough, I suppose. I don't own own the music, so yeah, this chilled ambient isn't isn't a patch on in the air tonight, and it sucks that I've had to kind of do it. But you got to do what you got to do. I was considering Benny Hill music, but I don't know. Maybe that's copyrighted. There we go. I think that's it now. There we go. Oh, Phil, I'm so sorry, mate, but I had no choice. I had to mute you. But what a great performance. I don't know whether he did this live for the game or what, but it sounds so good. You know, I have to say, if you play this for yourselves, you know, or you watch it, there's probably a YouTuber who's got around the copyright thing. You'll see how brilliant it is. It's such, I say it's one of the best songs ever. I'm just a shame I just couldn't include it. But it is what it is. It's that's it. I'm paying Giorgio back. It's going to cost me a bloody fortune. You know, he wants 60% interest. What can I do? I've got to think of my boy's well-being. Hi, Vic. What do you think of the show? Killer. Cheers. Hey, Barry. I'm glad you're thinking of my well-being. I could do with a break. No, mate. We should be moving on. Strike while the iron's hot. The US loves you. But I'm booked in at the hotel for another week. I was going to work on the tan. You're kidding. You gotta go to work, mate! I've just lined up a rake of shows, loads of dosh! And what about my well-being? Trust me, you'll thank me, don't get all histrionic! Histrionic? I've spent the last few days being chased around the city by a maniac. I've been shot at and nearly blown up. See what I mean? Bloody celebrities! Hey Vic, have you ever thought about a career in management? Hold up, boy, I'm your management. Yeah, mismanagement. Or was that just Rennie's name for you? You should have got those false tits, mate, just like Rennie suggested. They look great alongside that real one you're using for your head. There we go. Phil Collins is safe. Uh, for at least for now. <laughs> No, he's actually safe now. So, the new item we can get, he says you'll, you'll need six grand to buy access to the Phil Collins concert. So, I don't know. <sighs> I definitely might want to check that out and see what's in there off camera, maybe. And see what's going down. Um, see how many songs are there, whether it's just the one. 
But there we go, so Louise has now sent a pager to Vic saying she wants to see him at Lance's, so yeah. Um, we need to go to Lance's to, to see Louise. This is um, this is the one, Light My Pyre. I keep wanting to say Relight My Pyre because of Take That, Relight My Fire, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough mission. This one is a bit of a pain. Um, as I said, you have to follow Lance. Now the trick is, like you need to get a motorbike for this mission because if you haven't got one then um, it's going to be tricky so get yourself a bike um, the, the reason being is you can shoot forward you're going to need to shoot forward to shoot the uh, oncoming vehicles that are going to try and shoot Lance so you've got to protect Lance by taking out the cars the problem is you've got to keep up with Lance if you don't keep up with Lance then he's going to get shot more and more um, you can kind of cheese it. I did kind of use a car once and I kind of got by it. You've just got to kind of um, like keep Lance alive long enough basically so we can get to Mendes's mansion. That's kind of the key to doing it. Uh, it can be really really good or it can be really really bad. I've had some really good runs which have ended because of like AI and stuff. The problem with shooting the cars is Lance gets in the way half the time so you have to kind of like wait for Lance to stop dodging and weaving so it's uh, yeah Lance is just more trouble than he's worth if I'm honest but you've kind of got to do it because it's mandatory and as I said if it's not mandatory then I kind of don't do it <laughs> basically that's my uh, Vice City Stories rule I mean maybe one day I'll do a I don't know 100% run or something or do some side missions or something but I don't know I just I, I'm just sort of a main missions man get the main missions done you know do it complete it and you know kind of the way it is so yeah we need to go back to go back to Lance uh, right what's oh yeah we'll save the game first of course um, so that wasn't too bad so yeah two missions down three to go so onwards and upwards uh, as I said we saved the game so now we're going to be going to Lance, we'll be doing the next mission called Light My Pyre and trust me, I've got that mission once again as with the Twilight Knife sign permanently emblazoned in my retina because I did the route so many times um, and I suppose one good thing is with repetition I suppose it's obvious but you kind of get better at it so I actually got better at this mission the more that I kind of did it but um, despite me having a successful run it's by no means a walk in the park um, there's lots of things you need to kind of do like you have to kind of get ahead of Lance at various points but you've got to be able to take out the you need a good run because sometimes the vehicles can be kind of random I've had it where you've had two vehicles right at the start and they're just attack vehicles but Lance is further ahead so there's no point shooting them so the idea is to keep up with Lance and only hit the ones that are attacking him and obviously he has a damage meter too so yeah and I did this so many freaking times it must be like oh my god oh I, I don't know 50 times or something but um, as I said I don't know if you guys remember that Vice City Stories the developers like to leave little things around to help you they leave a bike but it's in a not so obvious place and thank god for YouTube because I looked up this mission I'm like how the hell do you do it and then they basically say use the bike and I was like oh, I was using a car and I kind of did sort of did it with the car but I lost when I got to the mansion so yeah the bike's kind of your best bet really so damn you Lance I'll never forgive you for putting me through all this you may be my brother but my god you don't half uh, put Vic in the blender half the time so much to do so yeah we just gotta get to it and oh bloody ass spun round oh come on really oh okay well <laughs> my car just kind of uh, went back the right way so we'll just get another vehicle I don't want to blow up you see I'm very conscious about that what in the sweet hell, so is, is it this way do you know I don't even know if I'm going the right freaking way I think I am doesn't feel like it's the right way though yeah this is definitely it you'll know it because there's like an ammunition like really really close to Lance and like there's like a I think a fountain or something like so you'll know you're in the right direction obviously the map kind of does help but 
I still, I don't know whether it's just me, but I think I'm there, and I'm sometimes the marker's on the other side of the map, so I have real problems with that. But yeah, I'm on the right, in the right place. Look at that. There's the ammunition, right there. So I'm going to pop in here, and we're going to pick up some armor because um, you can get shot up too, basically, as well as protecting lands. Plus, after that, we have to try and get into the Mendez Mansion, um, which um, is fairly easy, I think, once you kind of do the little um, exploit. About going back into the mall, I didn't even know that kind of existed, so thank you, YouTube. Right, so let's head on over to Lance and let's do it. So, yeah, hard times ahead, but you will see how ridiculous this one is. But here we go. Light my pyre at last. Louise! Hey, Vic. Hey. Hey, where's Louise? I don't know. But shit, if that bitch ripped us off, I'll rip our head off. Hey, she's clean, unlike you. No, she is a drug addict. I'm just having fun. <laughs> there is a difference. Vic! Vic! They got Louise! What? They had me too. It was awful. Who? All these men all sweaty and hot and will... Nobody laid a finger on me, but they got Louise! Who's got Louise? They got her and they said they'll kill her if you don't do what they want! Who? Armando Mendes! Oh! Oh, he wanted me too. I could see it in his eyes. Those Latino men always like the voluptuous women. I nearly got taken! All right. Come on, Lance. Let's finish this. Why? She's a train wreck. Let him have her. What? Are you serious? Yeah, move on. Plenty more fishes in the sea, baby. You get moving right now, or I'll shoot you first. All right, all right. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't worry about it. Wait. I'm telling you, it was nearly me. One day it'll be me. <laughs> One day. Right, here we go. So, the way to do this is you run all the way right down here because there's a bike parked conveniently next to a palm tree. Uh, Lance is under attack, so you need to be sharpish about this. As I said, it seems to be totally random. These cars seem to keep spawning um, in a pretty erratic direction. So, I think we can ignore the first one because it's not really attacking Lance. So, you only really need to get to the one that's attacking Lance. As you can see, I'm really awkward on the bike, but if you shoot straight ahead, um, that's going to make all the difference. Try not to shoot Lance, that's the only thing. So, luckily, I get lucky here because Lance starts to um, kind of weave out of the way. So, I had a kind of a lucky break here with this one, I have to say. So, just shoot, get ahead of Lance and shoot the cars, and then that will make things ten times easier. So, I'm trying to do it, but it doesn't always work. And then sometimes you can just bypass the cars anyway, and Lance will just go past. So, that's really all you have to kind of worry about. Um, just keep up with him really and that's the hardest thing he just oh, he just seems to go he's heading towards Mendez's mansion so as long as you can kind of keep him safe till there you'll be absolutely fine so he's kind of ducking and weaving here there's another car in front I'm trying to get to that car but if Lance can just get out of the friggin way I can do it as you see I'm just kind of like taking my shots carefully here I'm just I just keep banging into other vehicles I'm getting really fed up with this now like to take it all the way around the freaking world here. I just want to shoot the car. So I'm trying to shoot the car. There we are. So we shot the vehicle. The vehicle has been totally taken out of the game now. So just got to follow Lance now. Follow him to the end. That's what you've got to do. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. That's it. See Lance is in front. So I don't think he's going to be bothered now, so I think I got lucky here, you know, because I've taken out like enough vehicles. I don't know if there's really going to be any more, so Lance has taken a bit of a beating though, but you know what, it's better than not doing it at all, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, we'll just let him do his thing. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Yeah, I do apologise, I kind of skipped the cutscene. <laughs> uh, all it is is Lance just... Oh, here we go. Yeah, he does, does some obscenity. He says he's going to kill Mendez. That's it. I do apologise. As I said, this was like after my millionth try. 
of doing this mission so I was just kind of skipping it you know I got into a habit so you're not really missing much anyway so it says we need to get to Mendez's mansion so yeah so this is the mall so what you want to do is get there and then turn right back around again and head to the mall but I don't know why I'm not doing that now. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I, I see. Yeah, I'm going for a car because um, if I take a bike up there, I'm going to get shot up easier. But if I'm if I'm in a car, then I can use the car as a kind of a shield. So that's kind of my strategy uh, going in there. But yeah. So, yeah, to Prawn Island, I think that's going to be the uh, the next destination. That's where the Mendez's mansion is. And then we got a kind of like... I think you can kind of shoot some guys there. But as I said, you can lead them back into this sort of area very, very easily. And it does make, like, infiltrating the mansion a little bit easier. She won't get shot up as much. I don't know why I'm, like, switching cars here. But we'll take this nice little uh, nippy, nippy car here. Because that makes all the difference. Alright, am I not there yet? Am I even going the right friggin' way? This is so stupid. This is ridiculous. Oh yeah, I've got to go across the bridge to get to Mendez as usual. Oh, it's always the way. Back to the mall. But yeah, I think also at this point I was so tired. Like, And also, like I failed this mission. One of the I was having a really good run. I failed this mission. I got busted by a cop. Like, I think it was probably that, that one there that probably did it. Like, I, I nicked a car. Oh, I'll just go to Mendez and Manchester. I didn't see that the cop had buddy... He'd been clocking me all along, and then I failed the mission because because of that. So I was not happy. But anyway, this is Prawn Island. Should lead us to Prawn Island now. Hopefully, are we there yet? Yeah, this is it. So what you want to do is like this is what I do anyway. The tip I got from YouTube is drive up to them, then drive away. Um, drive to the mall. If you stay in that area. They're just going to shoot you off, and that's the last thing you need to do. You don't want to get blown up at this point in the junction, because as I said, doing that stuff, protecting Lance, is a pain in the backside, and you do not want to do that. So head on all the way down, and go back to the moor, and that's where we're going to go now. We're going to go to pop in, and then we're going to pop out again. And that way, that will spawn the guys, some of them anyway, away from the mansion. And it'll be way easier for when you go in. Because if you just go in there, you're just going to have to a load of them to take out and are hidden in the garden. I don't know if it makes much of a difference, to be honest, but... Oh, whether I did it right, I don't know, but this is kind of what I did. So you just go in and you go out. Luckily as well, like, when you have the boss fight with Mendez... I call it a boss fight, so it's over in about two seconds. There's body armor there as well, so... Once again, the developers want you to do it. As you can see, look at that. I think something's changed. See the red icons now? They're sort of coming down towards um, the mall. So, I'll see if this has made much of a difference. I don't know if it has. I'm going to take this bike anyway. I don't know if I should, to be honest. But I don't even know if this is the way. I'm so confused. And at this point, I think I was just exhausted. I was like, what am I even doing? What am I doing with my life? So, yeah, I'm definitely going the wrong way, I think. I don't know. Oh. It's definitely not there. But wait, we'll take this car. There we go, look at that. Beautiful. Just sitting there waiting for me. Another phoenix. <laughs> I love it. No cops to bother me. The one thing you don't want to do is get police attention because, as I said, the police, as you guys know, become an absolute annoyance, particularly during the more difficult missions, when all you want to do is do it and they just get in the way and they can, like, cost you the mission. That's the only thing. Right, we're going to, um... Actually, I don't know why. I can just do it this way. Maybe. Yeah, go this way and then we'll slide around. On the, on the edge and then we'll hit the bridge again but yeah I just get lost so easily so I have, have to kind of repeat 
certain things. So the plan is now I'm going to drive straight in to where the mansion is, and I'm just going to just just gun it and just get in there. I'm not messing about. And there's still blokes there. See, I don't even think I did this right. I don't know, but it does seem a little bit more empty than what it was. So you can just get around here, and the entrance is literally right here. So get out here. And we're in the mansion like this. Boom. Louise! Lance! Do you think you're hero enough to bring back the dead? Where are they, Armando? They're upstairs resting, in peace. Would you like to join them? If you've hurt them... Senor, I assure you, they didn't feel a thing. Unfortunately, the same will not be said of you. This is a shortcut to hell. Guards! Uh, Louise! Uh, hey, Vic. You came for me. No one ever really did much for me before. That's sweet of you. Hey, hey, come on. Let's, let's get you to a hospital. I don't think there's much point in that. Come on, Louise. We could have had something special. Yeah. <laughs> we did have something special. Make sure Mary Jo takes care of my baby. <laughs> oh, Louise. <sighs> Louise. <sighs> oh. uh. I, Vic, I, I know you cared about her, man. But she wasn't right for you. Vic. Hey, Vic. Family's what matters. Oh, damn. All right. All right. Okay, I, I'm gonna make it. I can make it. I know I can, man. There we go, mission completed. Thank God that one just was a real slog to do. So Armando is now dead. One of the Mendez guys is down. So you think that would make things a little bit easier. So two missions to go now. Um, we have to go and steal a helicopter from Fort Baxter, and that one's that one's pretty easy. And then basically just use said attack chopper to. Um, Invade the Mendez building, shoot the guys, and then get in the building, and then shoot Mendez and I think Martinez as well. So yeah, what you want to do though is if you need body armor on the way, you can kind of pop in here, and there's one right down here. I discovered. So we can kind of use it. I think there it is. There's the little devil. Right. So pick that up. Like so, back in the car. Right, and we can get out of here. Lovely stuff. So yeah, we have to go to... This one's a bit annoying because, like, um, it's Ricardo Diaz mission. We have to trigger that, but then it says we have to go and see Phil. Unfortunately, we're attacked by one of Mendez's men, and they are pretty lethal. But I think once you get through that and you get to Phil, should you fail the Fort Baxter mission, then you can trip skip right there. So that is one thing about the game I will say. It is incredibly fair when it comes to things like that because it understands like how frustrating it can be when it's, you kind of just work so hard, you know, you set everything up and then only to be let down, you know, you can kind of get back into the mission straight away, which I think is, you know, pretty good. It's something I didn't quite see in a lot of games. I swear a driver could have used this 
The old PS1 driver could have used trip skip, but hey, what can you say? It's still a great game. Very early though. Very early PlayStation. So yeah, let's go and see Diaz, save the game, see Diaz and then uh, that should do it. Uh, hit the mission, get into Fort Baxter, get the chopper and then we can end this thing finally. So yeah, very very long. But I have to say, you do an awful lot of stuff on here, there's a lot of variety in the missions, it's uh, incredibly cool. Like, um, definitely keeps you busy, um, very addictive, very challenging. But yeah, at least I won't have to do freaking high wire ever again. So that's one thing, you know. No more barriers, no more Vice City stories, it's all freaking done now. There we go, pop into the old hotel and we'll save the game. We can also top up our health as well, so not bad. Where is it? I think it's just over here. There we are. Boom. Lovely. Let's, uh, let's do that and save the game.